everyone, I've got a haul video to share with you today. These are some of the things I got from someone on Instagram. And I got these two for £15. I love this Chloe Super Baby. Um, she does make a noise, I think. Well, no, no she does. I know she does. Because I've had her working. Let's see if we can... Super Baby! Super Baby! Yeah, she has batteries in the bottom of her feet there. And this button, I'm not sure what that does. But, uh, yeah, her batteries go in here. She takes two AA batteries. She's got her little cape on, which is silver on the inside and red on the inside and silver on the outside to match her gloves and her little suit. She's so super cute. These are pre pre makeover so they need a wash and that but her hair's lovely look at that hair she's got some lovely hair it's still sort of got its soft curls in it i really like that but she's going to get a makeover aren't you chloe i should have to do her carefully though so i don't ruin her electrics and then this chloe i do already have her but she's such a cute doll and her outfit on its own was worth 750 wasn't it she's a pretty girl she'll be getting a good scrub then also from the same person, I got this bundle for £20 and I bought it for two dolls. I'll show you the two dolls last. First I got this Ariel. She's a Mattel Ariel, but she's one of those that looks like she's been in the bath. Her hair is super, super gluey and she's unfortunately had her head glued on. I might try and remove that head and put her head on a different body because, yeah, that's that's not good at all. You can see the glue and that around there. Someone's tried to super glue it back on. Yeah, I could probably fix her head back onto there, but I'm not keen on the moulded on bodies, as anyone who watches regularly will know. And I got this lovely Merida. I'm a big fan of Merida. She's a lovely doll in a nice dress. I think she's a... Let's have a look. She's got her shoes on, which is good. Let's see what it says on her back. I don't know whether she's a Mattel one or not. That's all I'm looking at. Yeah, she is a Mattel one. She's got her belt on. That dress is a bit different to the usual one, isn't it? Yeah, and her face is a bit different as well, I think. She'll clean up nicely. Then. This bell, I haven't tried this bell out, but she does something. She must do with all this gubbins up her frock, mustn't she? She's very, um, she's very busy under her skirt, is this bell. Let's try some batteries in her and see what she does to us. Right, I've put batteries in her. It took me a while. Posh, isn't she when she blooms flowers out of her frock crikey it's almost worth having all that gubbins up your dress isn't it if you can do that yeah she again has got a glued head but i didn't pay much for the bundle and i'm hoping i can unglue that head and fix it properly i should be able to but yeah she takes three aa batteries under the back of her skirt there and then she does all that fanciness Elise, she looks a bit like you in that dress, but she's not quite as pretty, is she? Yeah. Elise wears a bell dress sometimes. I've seen the pictures. Okay, so next we got this Rapunzel in a cosy, and she looks like one of the ones that goes in water again. I say that because they, the ones that go in water tend to have a bit more of a pinky skin tone. I don't know whether it's the something in the water that does that to them. But if she has been in water, she's been cleaned really well. There's no mould on her. You sometimes find that with dolls that have been in water that they have mould on them. She's got a moulded on purple cosy. And Belle also comes with this. I'm assuming this flower has something to do with... Maybe you do that to her. Do you touch your... Yeah, maybe you do that with it. 
that she does come with that flower. Then we've got this aerial. She's got like a moulded on top. I've actually seen this exact top, but not moulded on. She's got a lovely face. Look at that face. She's got a crown on. Her hair's really nice. And she's got this wiggly tail. I don't know whether she... I think it's just on a hinge. I don't think there's... Oh, no. She does do something, but I don't know where you put where you would put her batteries to make her do it. Just looking. She's got a button on her back here. She looks like she might swim, actually. Her arms look, you know, like this, they might swim. But I can't see anywhere where you could put her any batteries, so I don't know. Maybe you just press the button and... Oh yeah, tail does waggle a bit when you press the button. Maybe that's it, eh? Yeah, but she's pretty, isn't she? She's gorgeous, in fact. That face is lovely. I really like that face. So that was the £20 bundle, apart from the two dolls that I ordered the bundle for. So the first one is Quasimodo. I don't have a Quasimodo, so really happy to have him. He's gorgeous. He's in really nice condition as well. So he's got a twisty waist. He doesn't have any, um, nothing on him to say, you know, who is, oh, it does, it says on the bottom, Disney China. Yeah, he's lovely. Looks like he should sit down. We've not got a chair for you though, Quaz. See if you can sit on here, Quazzy. Well, mm -mm. not really, can you, eh? See if we can fit you in. No, we can't get him on the chair. His bum's too big. Oh no, he'll, he will. We'll balance him on there for now. Oh, Quasimodo, bless him. And then the last doll I got is Arsula. Look at that. So I think the bundle was worth £20 just for those last two dolls, which is what I ordered the bundle for. She's the um, Disney Store London Ursula. Or Ursula, as Rosie insists I call her, not Ursula. Not allowed to say Ursula, it has to be Ursula. <laughs> Bless her. But yeah, I actually did buy this Ursula for Rosie. So yeah, she'll be delighted with her because she hasn't got one. So that was that £20 haul. And then I got these two dolls from eBay. This is Bubble Trouble Jade. She's another big babies. And I thought, oh, how cute. She blows bubbles. You know, you feed, you feed her and she blows bubbles. No, she doesn't. She burps, apparently. Yeah. <laughs> apparently you feed her pop and she burps. Right, okay. She's not in her correct outfit, but she has got an outfit on, so I'm happy with that. Also, she came with her little shoes. Are they sliders? <laughs> yeah, she came with those, so that was good. She does take batteries in the bottom of her feet. I've put batteries in her, but I have none of the stuff to give her to make her burp, which is, you know, that's probably a bonus, really, isn't it? <laughs> But she's lovely. She's got both her hair plugs. Her face is really nice. She just needs a wash. And for 99p plus postage, I thought that was an absolute bargain. Right. And then... Stand there with your friends. The final big babies I got was... Leah. She was £8, which I thought was a really good price. She needs a good clean-up. She's got a little cosy on, actually the same cosy as Jade. Um, she's got a little nails painted. She doesn't do anything. She just sits and looks pretty, which is fine with me. Got a little bit of pen on her face, which I can get that off no trouble. She's got her earring. She's got her hair. It's really nice, actually. It's in nice condition. Both of these dolls that have the rooted hair have got nice rooted hair, so I'm pleased about that. I can clean them up and they'll be lovely. So that was my little haul for today. I hope you enjoyed that. Thank you for watching. Bye for now.